Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. Now, if you don't know me, I am all about eye primer. And when I discovered this product, I was like, oh my god, there's under eye primer? I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know, I may be living under a rock, but I literally had no idea that there was a separate primer for your under eyes. So this primer is supposed to be a cooling primer that diffuses light around the eye area and preps your skin for a smooth makeup application. I have always had dark circles under my eyes and I feel like there is just not enough concealer in the world to brighten up my under eye. And when I discovered this product, I was super excited because it's supposed to be brightening as well as priming. Here is the packaging, which it is so beautiful. I love it. It is clean. It just looks very classy. And I'm a little worried that this color is blue because my under eye is kind of like purplish. And I'm like, how is that supposed to help brighten? I don't know. But let's go ahead and get this open. Now, I've already primed my face. I did not prime my under eye, obviously, because I will be using this primer. I hope that this kind of looks a little bit clear as I apply it. So let's go ahead and dig into it. Ooh, that is smooth. This feels definitely like a balm and there is no blue on my finger. So the texture is really, really thin and it feels like a balm. I really like that because our thinnest skin is around our eye area and the more we pack on, the heavier our skin gets. And because it's so thin and we're packing on all of that product on top, it starts to weigh down on our eyes. So I like the fact that this is very thin. Also, I know I said I don't have any makeup on, but I do have my lip plumper on. So I might be a little bit red around the lips, but I need as much help as I can get because I have like a turtle beak. I don't have lips. They're just very, very tiny. So let's just ignore that. So I'm going to be doing an all day wear test with this primer because it's a balm. It's supposed to be hydrating and um, also a primer. So I definitely want to see how this holds up all day. So let's go ahead and apply. So I only put it on the right eye. Does it look like it's doing anything? You guys let me know down in the comments below. I kind of do think that it's looking a little bit brighter. It is not as purple as it was. It definitely feels hydrating. I don't know, it might just be in my head that um, it looks brighter because that's what it's supposed to do. But I really do think that it looks brighter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the other eye. And I hope I'm not putting on too much. I am just putting on a thin layer. I don't want to be building up this hydrating balm because, well, I want my skin to soak it up and I want the concealer to be able to stay on top of it and not like slip and slide. So the directions don't say to let it sit or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my makeup. Of course, I'm gonna start with my foundation and then I'll move on to the concealer. Um, I'm not gonna be putting foundation on or around my eyes on my eyes, around my eyes. I noticed that that's something that I do a lot, but apparently you're not supposed to be putting foundation around your eyes, just on the rest of your face and your neck. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> now it is time for my concealer. I'm gonna use my trusty Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and it's in the color Light Sand. So I'm not gonna be fast forwarding through the concealer part because I want you guys to see just how it applies on top of the eye primer. So let's get this on. I don't use a lot of concealer. I just do a dot right here and then a dot right here. I'm gonna apply it with my sponge like I normally do and let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna bring a closer mirror. Normally I do not do concealer on my eyelids, but I'm not gonna be doing an eye look. I'm not gonna be putting any um, eyeshadow on my eyes. So I'm just gonna put concealer on top just so that way everything blends in. That's not bad at all. This looks really, really good. I don't see that there is any smearing, any smudging, no streaks. 
nothing is lifted, there is no patchiness. It looks really, really nice. And honestly, it does look brightened. It looks brightened and it also looks moisturized, but not enough to where it's going to like move around, if that makes any sense. I think that the concealer applied perfectly on top of the under eye primer. Okay, let me do the other eye. Now, even though I don't use a lot of concealer, there are times where I do feel like I have to put on a second layer. And to be honest, I don't feel that I need a second layer at all. I also took pictures before I started recording so I can definitely put up a picture of what my under eye looked like before and then what it looks like after. Okay, I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup. So I am back with the rest of my makeup. I wanted to keep everything super simple so that way our attention is solely on the under eye area. As you guys saw on camera, I put on my concealer and it blended out beautifully on top of the primer. Also off camera, I did put on my baking powder and it looks so good good. I did highlight the inner corners, but that's really about it. That's what I normally do, even though I'm not going to be wearing eyeshadow. <laughs> so I highlight my face as usual. And then I do highlight the inner corners um, just because I have itty bitty eyes and I just want to do everything possible to make them look nice. <laughs> so let me go ahead and bring my little handheld mirror up a little bit closer. I really do love the way that this looks. I think that everything layered on perfectly. I think that my under eyes do look brighter. I feel like they feel hydrated, even though I baked for a while, <laughs> uh, just because I have crazy oily skin, but I don't feel like anything looks cakey, patchy. It looks so good. But of course, the real test is how this wears all day. Of course, because I have oily skin and this is kind of like a balm primer, I wanna see how this holds up for the rest of the day. So I will definitely be back for a check-in. And yeah, so I will see you guys in a minute. So I'm back for my check-in and I've been wearing my makeup already for about 10 hours now. I did do a touch-up a couple of hours ago. I wanna say it was around Four. And to be honest, I did not have to touch up my under eye area at all. All I did was just really soak up my, my oils from the rest of my face. And really there was no creasing, there was no patchiness, no slipping, no sliding, no transfer. It looks just as good as when I very first put it on. At least I do think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm looking in my mirror and it looks still so good and still so bright. So let me just bring you guys up close so you guys can see. No creasing, no creasing. So I'm definitely excited to keep trying this out because even though I did an all day wear test, I do believe that you need to really keep wearing, keep playing around with the makeup to see how it works. And I mean, you never know. So I'm definitely gonna keep playing around with this, but let me know down in the comments below. Have you guys tried this product out? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Please let me know. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks.